We are the four warlords of the blood realm. We are Blood Butcher, live at Market Square at Promotion Studios. The song is called Blood Butcher. <laughs>
of the blood ritual is upon us. Be
Welcome to the Promotion Studios. Today we're joined by the members of Blood Butcher. What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you in. You just put on a fucking hell of a performance in the uh, live you. session for us. Uh, you've got a new or album out. You're working on some new music as well. What's the world of Blood Butcher looking like in 2021? Very big year for us. Definitely very big. We have uh, we have a lot of upcoming band opportunities. Uh, we have a new album we're working on. We've been working on it for how long did you say? About eight months. About eight months, yeah, almost a yeah. year. Uh, we've got some shows that are coming up that we can talk about and then we have shows that are coming up that we can't talk about because oh, they're super those secret exciting. those are the good ones oh, those are the really good ones. the shows the shows are i think really integral to y'all because you are a phenomenally energetic and powerful kind of live presence thank you when you guys put on a live show what i mean you get you get the, a little bit of the, the theatrics hmm. but what's what's like the pre-game ritual what's the band ritual before a show I think it's kind of different for all of us. First, Alcohol. Oh <laughs> he likes to have a beer. Um, for James. <laughs> I usually like to take a shower and watch like the old HBO Max Spawn cartoon. Oh yeah, something the old Tom McFarlane Spawn. Yeah, yeah, dude. Something about that cartoon just gets me in the mood for Blood Butcher. Right on. Yeah, that's a great... Like That's one of those old, underrated animated oh, series. Dude, they had so many of those on HBO that are so... I'm surprised it didn't get renewed for a third season. Um, do you amazing. remember Perversions of Science? No, I've never seen You that. need to look up Perversions of Science. It was around the same time. But, uh, you, so, when you guys were putting this band together, what was the thought behind it? What were some of the influences? Like, was... Did, did the blood just come naturally? Like, I just want to have everything we can code in blood possible. Um, and that was you from the beginning. <laughs> Basically, as long as I've known Griff, he's liked blood. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was definitely a big part of it. Um, when the idea of evil unfortunately uh, broke up, I was like, "Well, gosh, I another band. Let's do it. Number three. Hope it's the charm." <laughs> and uh, I kind of went in it with two mentalities: um, a that I was gonna like. Starting out, I was just gonna write music and if it picked up, it didn't. I was mostly trying to keep busy. And uh, second thing is, I definitely wanted it to be very over the top and gory and uh, dark. And as the band and the project kind of evolved over the past year, and so we've, you know, the image of the band and what the band's about and the lyrical content and our overall attitude have changed. Um, there been a lot of faces in and out and stuff. And so, like, basically, it's kind of just made it up. So like, <laughs> That's the best way to do it, man. Uh, well, off that first album, you guys got a lot of great feedback. You gained a lot of traction with fans and followers. What was it like to put that first album out and get such a good feedback from people? Terrifying. Well, uh, <laughs> terrifying before the feedback. Uh we waited a hot minute before releasing it. I was kind of worried. Well, I kind of just expected it to just kind of go under the radar. I, when people were like, wow, this is good. We like it. I was like, you do? It's, like? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's super dark. And I like the way that you kind of you kind of said, like, blackened grunge. Mm. I don't think I've heard that to describe a sound before. Well, but The funny thing about it is we started out as a black metal band, kind of with grunge influences. But the... Pretty much post the first album, uh, we just kind of all looked at it, listened to it, and we're like, this is kind of a death metal album more right. than anything else. And we're like, wow, we're fucking death metal now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, is like you can hear you can hear that, you know, that black metal influence from your Venoms, your Mayhems, things like that. But you've also got uh, you've got some of that grunge sound in like the uh, like the Melvins and stuff like that, the early Seattle kind of sound as well. So it's cool to see you bring those two styles that for some reason have seemed so distant. I don't know if it's like the attitudes between them. I've never seen like a kind of a crossover between it. But you blend those genres really well. Um, when uh, when you guys are hanging out practicing. What's a practice like? Uh, is it serious or is it more like? Oh, it's, it's, serious. it's pretty serious. It's so, pretty serious. It's like six hard hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we all get together about like four o'clock, and then 
Oh, it's long and hard. Yeah, <laughs> but we sometimes we get a little mad at each other and make yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> the first hour is <laughs> a whole lot of getting nothing done. Oh, yeah, yeah. the first and then, hour. And then, like, for, like, four hours, we just, like, to the grindstone, like, oh, bang something out. We either like, tighten up what we got or make something new. And That's then, good. And then we kind of just chill out for the rest of the time, talk about, like, how it went. And you guys are going to be planning to do a music video sometime this year as well? Yeah, we'd yeah. very much like yeah. to. Um, I really want to shoot it in a castle somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely some well, we've got some weird castles around here. I mean, half of them are like Airbnbs, but <laughs> you can probably find something like that. Uh, I, I'm seeing an old mental asylum or something Ooh, like that. Yeah, that'd be bad. The only problem that's is that's Lakeshore's closed. Castle. You know, they tore down most of Lakeshore, so... Uh, we got to find a, a really cool, creepy spot to shoot y'all in. Yeah, that would be definitely awesome. Definitely something abandoned. Uh, so where can people, uh, what's the best way to find the music, get in touch with you? What's some upcoming shows that you really want to push? Um, the best way to find our music is either Spotify or Bandcamp. I recommend Spotify, personally. It's YouTube. more accessible. Yeah, YouTube. There's also, yeah, we have huge stuff on YouTube. In terms of contacting us, uh, our Instagram is the way to go. Yeah, because all of us can see that and reply mm -hmm. pretty quick. And then Facebook would be secondary, but Instagram is where we're most active. Or our email, too. I think we have, yeah. that. We have a link tree or something. Um, shows that we would like to promote. Uh, Are we allowed to talk about the Scruffy City? Oh, yeah. We got a show at Scruffy <laughs> City Hall. And we're really excited about that because I've yeah. wanted to play at Scruffy City Hall since I was in Dark Butter. <laughs> so, like, it's just like a dream come true. I'm just like, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's going to be a killer show. I think it's uh, June 18th. I'm looking I want to say that's yeah. June 18th. Unless I'm, I'm, I am completely wrong. How many months sure. is that from now? One month. One yeah. Month. Woo! Okay, <laughs> well, sweet. <laughs> we'll kill it. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be a killer night. Um, and you got the music on Spotify, you got the whole album out, and you got to be following that up with a new EP this year, or is that going to be another full this album? This is a full-blown yeah. album. A lot of work this going into this one. Our, it's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> our goal with this album is to literally like surpass our first release. Like We we want each new release to just completely shit on the last yeah, one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like every one of our albums. If, is if they don't get more and more technical, we're album. doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's the way to look at it, man. Uh, well, we're really glad to have you guys. We're really looking forward to working with you guys because you're one of the more interesting bands on the Knoxville scene right now. You're thank doing you, something you. a lot more different than what people have tried. <laughs> so it's really cool to see it, and uh, I'm glad you guys have such a good energy and attitudes about you. And you all seem to get along really well. Yeah. That's really like, important. We're, we're like brothers. Yeah, we're literally a family. That, Some that's, might say blood brother. <laughs> I mean, when you came down here to sign with the contract, you were getting ready to go that day to pick up merch in Kentucky yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. And it was just a road trip just, together. And that was a long, good that was day. A long we got road. locked out of our car oh, in Kentucky. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, we did. In the rain. <laughs> oh, you guys have some good stories. You just had a show recently. James dislocated his knee. Oh, and man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I just reset it, got back up, finished it. I could not play it. That, that, but I mean that's badass. That, that shows dedication. Uh, you see that a lot. In, dude, what uh, is that? Oh man, <laughs> you see that a lot in music and performance. Sometimes people injure themselves, and uh, when you can keep going on with the show, more power to you, man. It happened a minute and a half into that set. That's minute <laughs> set, <laughs> and you went through the whole thing. I did. Yeah, I could barely get to the car after it. Man, that's <laughs> awesome. That was painful. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, you, you see the people that you know split their head open. You know, Zach Wild, famous for cutting his hand open and just bleeding all over his V. Uh, Dave Grohl broke his leg and went well, back that was out. Cool. I mean, all of that stuff. Man, Dave Mustaine played in a neck brace one time. He, yeah. he was in a hospital yes. with a broken neck, and so he called him a pussy for canceling the show. Yeah, and, and so he, he went yeah, to the yeah. show. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> that's, that's like the coolest story I've ever heard. Hey, but let's talk about the uh, the Brickyard show. Oh, Brickyard. When you, when you were hanging out in the wheelchair, remember? We yeah, played, played it in the week oh, three days later. I didn't play it once. He played in the yeah, wheelchair. Yeah, James. Oh, yeah. So that Dang. Brickyard show last Friday? Yeah, 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 I played in a wheelchair. Oh, oh did you really? Game. I'm supposed to still yeah, be in a yeah, wheelchair. Corey, was on, just, Corey had to use a cane, ah. and James had, had to go up there in a, a, a wheelchair. Being in a wheelchair sucks so bad. You're like the old dudes of metal now, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. 
people okay, playing awesome. for the retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the car from your wheelchair. I was like, somebody take me to the bar. I need some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, that's I'm, how uh, Griff got inside. I was three shots down in like, a wheelchair. I'm just like pushing him around in a wheelchair. He's got like the old school like veteran kind of aviator glasses on. <laughs> I'm covered in blood. There's just this old lady that's at the bar. She looks at him, looks at me, just <laughs> makes his face. And then like continues drinking her drink. I mean, you, you cut uh, an impressive look, you know, and I mean... <laughs> Him in a wheelchair and you all blooded out, I can imagine. Uh, well, we're really looking forward to seeing what you guys can do because uh, you got a lot of energy behind you and you got, you're got you obviously passionate about what you're doing, so it's great to see. Um, check them out, Blood Butcher on Spotify. Just, yeah! Just Google Blood Butcher. I think there's like one other Blood Butcher band out there, but you've completely overwritten their SEO. We like, ate them! You're on like Metal Archives and Encyclopedia and Metallum, so yeah. Dude. Yeah. What genre are they? Are they a metal band? It's a, oh, I, I don't think, think it's a they, they're, they're like an band. 80s oh, okay. like thrash band or oh, something. Really? Like. really? Yeah. I gotta check them out. Yeah, oh, but man. you've completely overwritten any yeah. SEO that they have. <laughs> we ate their oh, bones! <laughs> <laughs> So check them out, Blood Butcher. They got a full album out uh, to check out now. New music on the way, and a lot of this month. and a new single coming yeah, out this yeah. month. Devour. Yeah, we're doing Devour. a split with um, this Bortem. band from Bortem. Gore Grind yes. band from New York called Bortaint. Bortaint. Yeah, we're both pig themed or had a pig logo, so we're just like, let's <laughs> yeah, do it. Had to do it. Just oh, yeah. had, to, had to do it too. Awesome. Uh, get that new uh, split single coming out. Uh, stay tuned for new music, all kinds of great shit from these guys, and some killer shows. You really got to check them out live. I mean, you saw. It. <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> it's like stars, man. Wild. All right. Blood Butcher, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. That way you don't miss another promotion live session.